All right, I just finished the build of the Micro Q100 sold by Hobby Mate. But uh, what makes this thing different is that I think we could actually call this thing the beast. Normally, the Q100 runs on uh, these little one cells, but this one runs on two cell batteries. And I want to say that this build took me maybe two hours to do. It was a ton of fun. Probably the longest part of the project was waiting for all the bits and pieces to come together uh, and to uh, arrive in my mailbox to make sure that I had done this correctly. But I am running this machine on a 7.4 volt 400 mAh generic LiPo that I bought off of eBay. And uh, I just got done test flying it. And I got to tell you guys, I wasn't sure if this was going to be worth it or not. But the power on this thing is insane. And I'm looking forward to showing you the flight controller that's on this. It's flashed with, uh, with Betaflight. Um, and it's got an F3 processor in it. It's a fantastic brushed micro flight controller. Um, and that's what inspired this entire project. Um, so let me go ahead and show you guys the flight video. And I, I just want to make sure that you guys realize that when you see the punch out on it. And you compare it to the one cell punch outs that are out there um, for this Q100 or you own one. Just remember that I didn't even have this battery fully charged yet, and uh, I never went over about three-quarter throttle. So this thing, this thing's a monster. Hope you guys enjoy. Oh, I lost it. It's okay. Lots of power. Okay, I'm gonna go up. Ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's not even full throttle. Oh, it's gone. It's gonna need to be tuned. So I only did that one flight, and it's a short flight. I want to say it lasts like maybe 30 seconds or so, but uh, bear with me, guys, because it's about 10 degrees outside right now. Uh, so it was just too cold. Um, and I didn't even have a full charge on my battery. I just went out there and, and uh, tried it. But I did want to walk you guys through the components that I used um, because I know that there's not a lot of two-cell builds out there, and this thing is genuinely, uh, truly uh, possible. It's really easy to do. So I'll provide a link, but uh, I want to say I paid about 2 bucks for these 7.4-volt 400 mAh batteries. I don't know what the flight time on them is yet, but for this size quadcopter, I don't think I would want to go any heavier. So these will do well. And then um, for the motors, I ordered these off of Amazon. I was looking for some two cell eight millimeter rotors, uh, motors. I know that the pros say that there is no such thing. I did find a company that was selling uh, some two cell motors, a company called RJX. And so I went ahead and bought these. And uh, I know the question is, do they hold up? I don't know. I haven't put enough time on them yet. But uh, I do know that they sell them as two-cell motors, and they were like 13 bucks. so I went ahead and bought those. So you're going to need some two-cell, eight-millimeter motors. And then let me just go ahead and uh, pop off the hood here. I'm running 65-millimeter props. They actually come with the, um, the build-ready kit from Hobby Mate for the Q100. These 65-millimeter props do. You could buy those separate as well, but I already had those on hand. So what makes this whole build possible is this board right here. It's flashed with Betaflight, and uh, it's got an F3 processor on it. Which right now at the making of this video is uh, probably the, the quickest or the, at least the quicker uh, processor that's being used on these little um, flight controllers. This is, it comes shipped ready to go, soldered for two cell. If you want to use it for one cell, you actually need to short out the solder pad on the bottom of the board for one cell. So this thing comes two cell ready, flashed with beta flight. You can also uh, connect it to clean flight. Um, I don't know if they're interchangeable, really. I know that they're designed and made by the same guys. But um, I was able to connect to both, and I did all my work in beta flight. So I'm going to be doing all of my tuning in beta flight as well. The tune is terrible. But it's because this is a brand new product. I'll get the tune figured out and share that with you guys when I have it. But uh, the flight controller, let me go ahead and move this camera out of the way. The normal Alienware flight controller that comes from Hobbymate with their ready-to-build kits comes all the way out to here. This is a smaller flight controller. Th this thing is so tiny. It's really, really impressive. It's got uh, voltage cutoff for two cell. If, you're, um, if your voltage gets uh, below 7.2 volts, 
then the flight controller is going to kick off to keep from damaging your battery, which I think is an impressive feature. It's also got 3.3 volt and 5 volt outputs to power both your camera. Uh, I use the 3.3 volt to power the camera and the 5 volt to power the spectrum receiver. And uh, for me, this camera will only handle 5.9 volts. So I'm glad that it came with the power distribution included in this or I wouldn't have been able to power this because I'd have burned up this camera on 7.4 volts. So this flight controller is awesome. So obviously you're going to need a camera. Uh, the camera that I'm using, HobbyMate actually sells this as well for, I believe it's like 26 bucks. Super, super tiny camera, but you're going to need a micro camera like this uh, with a 25 megawatt receiver. You're going to need a battery, you're going to need your motors and your flight controller. And guys, you can build this two cell beast for less than a hundred bucks. Uh, this thing is uh, just really impressive. I can't wait to fly it and get to know it a little bit better. Just wanted to introduce you guys to the build and show you that we were able to do it.